Alrighty guys, so we're going to be doing the rate dependence lab right now. We are going to be using the MTS once again, just like we did the, for the adhesives lab. Only difference is each of these has different widths and thicknesses, right? Um, so I just wanted to let y'all know that what we are doing is we're going to be testing each one of these at a different rate. So this is going to be 0 0.2 inches per uh, inches per minute. This one's going to be 2 inches per minute. This is going to be 20 and this one is going to be 40 inches per minute. Now what I have done is I have labeled the gauge length on each of these, right? So what we're going to end up doing is e since each of these have been uh, have been measured, once we actually do the process of pulling these polymers apart, we're going to end up measuring from this length to this length and find out how much of an elongation actually occurred, right? So this is what we're going to end up doing. So what I have written down is I have written down all of the dimensions of each of these. So HDP 1, 2, 3, and 4, polypropylene, ABS, HIPS, and PC, and with all of the test rates right here. So if you look over here, we're going to be using the exact same test as we used for the adhesives lab. Only difference is we're going to be putting in all of our parameters right on there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to start off with HDPE1. And so like we had said before, this is going to be done at 0 0.2 inches per minute. All right, so the only difference that we're going to be doing now is putting in these parameters right here, where our width is going to be uh, the biggest one or the biggest number from your dimension, so 0 0.4889. And then our thickness is going to be 0 0.124. And we're going to put our initial speed to be 0 0.2 inches per minute at 10 hertz. And we're going to leave it as is, right? So from here, we're going to go ahead and place in our specimen, just like we have done every single time. We're going to pick this up here, right here, and we're going to pick this one up, and we're going to end up flipping it over a little bit. All right, so we have already set up our specimen. We always want to make sure that we have our, uh, our dark spots, our dark labels, in between the clamps. We do not want to have the clamps uh, too far uh, too far into the specimen or too far out from the specimen. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and come over here, and we're going to zero out our load. So zero the signal out, and that's already zero, but we're going to zero it again. And then we are going to press play. And we're going to press OK. So just remember and keep in mind with what uh, Mr. Martinez was saying is that usually whenever you have a much slower rate, the molecules have a lot more time to rearrange themselves in a way where it's able to take a little bit uh, it's, it's, it's a lot tougher. So if you think about like how he had said with the silly putty, if you rip apart your silly putty really, really quickly, it'll end up breaking like it's a kind of like a, it's like something pretty stiff, right? But if you pull it apart and you stretch it at a much slower rate, it'll stretch out and be a lot more tough. All right, guys, so now we're going to be starting off with uh, basically testing out each of the different types of materials or the different types of polymers at a test rate of two inches per minute. So right now we're going to be starting off with polypropylene. This one is known to be a rubbery polymer, so there is a possibility that it could take quite a while for it to reach the full elongation. There have been some points where it fractures and it frays like a broom. There have also been some other types of fractures where it won't even break and it just stays there and it exceed, it, it's like able to exceed the uh, elongation of the actual MTS itself. So I'm going to go ahead and input in the data right now and then we're going to go ahead and see what happens. All right, and we're going to put this down to two inches per minute. And we're going to zero out the load. Mm -mm. 
All right, so we can see that it didn't elongate very much. And this is probably because it, um, yes, it is a rubbery polymer, but at the same time, maybe the temperature in the room is a little bit too cold. That's probably another reason why it could fracture as if it was a glassy uh, specimen. So we're gonna take out these. 